that's funny. I was studying faith today too, and the Bible speaks of three kinds of faith. There is no faith, mm-hmm. like Satan has blinded the minds of unbelievers. God totally disapproves of that. It's impossible working without mm-hmm. faith. Then there's little faith, mm-hmm. and like when they were on the boat and in the storm, and He rebukes that kind of faith. He goes, well, he, he totally disapproves of mm-hmm. it, right? And then well, some because of who you are, what yes. you are made, and what He's authorized, He has to. It's like it's almost disrespectful. Yeah, it's like saying the mango tree is a banana. Yes. Yeah. And, and then there's the last category he calls great faith. Great yeah. is your faith. That's the God kind of faith. Yes. But there's also a funny little scripture that says, if you have faith as little as a mustard seed, mm-hmm. but that faith is here. Mm-hmm. You, you see what I'm saying? That little faith is, is a branch of the great faith. Like, yeah. the people get this confused with this. Yeah. And, and that, that little faith saying? can be as simple as this. It, it might go something like this. That little faith can't be this way. No, no, no. That, it yeah. has this to be this here. faith always deals with works, yeah. with production. Yeah. That little faith, you're right, doesn't deal with production. No. It, it kind of deals no. with this, with this one. It could, but more from this perspective. So when you say a little faith as a must, it's like, you know what? I made in the image of God. Or God so loved me. You might let's say you don't even yeah yeah you don't even know you, you might even know the structure. Forget about scripture. You might go. I come from God. Yes <laughs> yes yeah. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. Yeah. You, you know or, or, actually Jesus is my savior. You don't even know what it means. Yeah. But you're like Jesus died for the world. Jesus okay you are my Lord. I've taken on everything through Jesus Christ. He's my Lord. And you can't even describe it. You can't even. Yeah, but it's based here. <laughs> yeah. So. It, it, it's connected, but it's it, it's not understood. It's just but, but that faith still can work. That faith is that faith is still very effective. Yeah. Because as long as it's built, you know, I come from God. God loves me. God forgive me. Something yeah. connecting to here. Like a right. Yes. It will. Yes. It will work. Yeah. It will work. I'm telling you, the time is upon us where the church must understand this faith. And, 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 and the mission, the author, authorized, this is authorized, this is this faith. As soon as the church, the church is in this position, they're right here. But they're not handling these things very, very well. As soon as the church handles this, the church will be the more sought out entity. You can have a faith like a child, it's yeah. a little faith. Once they get a little handle on this concept properly, this really there will be the more sought out entity on the planet. It's the faith relationship. Yeah. Once they get it. There's lack of understanding it. And and they know it. They're trying to take on their authority work and it's just handling them. Well, I believe that's why Christ It's just said. handling them. When Christ was talking about the boat, he was saying your faith is very little in dealing with the storm because your faith is but to, to, but to deal with that storm, you would just need faith as little as a mustard mm-hmm. seed. So I think he was switching the reference. Yeah. So it's right, tell Philip, Philip, go, just tell me or show me where God is. He go, <laughs> he go, you mean you've been with me for so long. You have seen me deal with all of those things I'm authorized. How else can I deal with it if I'm not operating exactly like God? At least believe my works. He go, oh, come yeah. on, Philip. At least believe this so that you know yeah. I'm connected to this. In essence, you simply say this, Philip, there's no way that can be dealt with if this wasn't happening. Exactly. If you want that to happen, fix this. You have to have this. If you fix this, this is automatic. If you fix this, that's a given. That's a given. Once this is fixed, that's a given. If you try to take on that without this, well, the enemy will have two laughs. He will laugh at you when you're, when you're in the process and can't succeed, and he will torment you after you fail, because you'll be vulnerable to him then. If you fix this, you will laugh all the time. You will laugh in this relationship, and you will laugh in this works. Amen. So T.D., is, is, as I say, he never explained it that way. This, this, this teaching came from the Lord himself, but he's right about this. This nonsense we're teaching people sometimes, like, or just have faith and, um, you know, um, you, you, you'll deal with it. Yeah. Well, it would if they truly can have it properly. Yeah. I just so believe in God, so I have faith in God. This is the little mustard seed. Yeah, I, if I so believe I am made from the image of God, and the same thing Jesus can do, I can do. 
but they don't because they, they don't believe that is them. They believe all the thing what their mother said, what their brother said, what the community, what the religious said. So, so their faith is completely built different. How could they deal with all this stuff? Self-confidence. Yes. Self-confidence. Amen. So build your faith properly. Build your faith because of who he is. Self-sufficient and self-sustaining. Build your faith even greater because you came directly from him. Understand the opening for the enemy right there. Aha, you're cut off. Aha, I am reconnected. Build your faith to take on tasks because he authorized you to dominate it. Build your faith even more. He gets glory when you dominate it. Understand it. When you understand it, it will change a hear about you. You will change how you think, how you feel, and how you look. Everything changes. There's a shift take place. And a production begins. You know, your faith will start to correspond then with works. Until then, this is true. This is true. Very few, if anybody, you could say don't have faith. Very few, if anybody. I believe every human being has faith. In some level, even in the devil, they believe in their faith. But not everybody's faith is producing what? Works. Works. That's the difference. Not everybody's faith is producing works. There's the, 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 the a scripture in the Bible, Revelation 3, verse 2. Christ said, quicken, re-energize those components of you that are dead, but still there. All those things you have that are not producing, it's still there. Like when I did martial arts, I had a couple of moves, no matter if I'm losing or whatsoever. Like yes. <laughs> but when I'm in trouble or I want to finish something, I know if I connect with these moves, if I can maneuver, it's over. I have full faith and confidence. This is this move. Who he is? You understand? And how, as I said, when I say who he is, I'm only talking to full. Self-sufficient, self-sustaining. Where I come from, what I'm authorized to do. So when we are back against the corner, you're supposed to go to this formation immediately. My father is self-sufficient and self-sustaining. I am made to function exactly that way, and I'm authorized to do it. It's okay to function that way, but that doesn't mean you're authorized to what? Do it. What is Satan's problem? Is Satan made just like God? Is Satan made just like God? He's made in the image of him. Yes, he's made exactly like him. Exactly. You could say, exactly, you could say. More so than us, yeah. because we are still waiting for one component of us, or two components to be solidified. We're waiting for our soul to be transformed into completely back into what? The image, meaning we do exactly like our spirit can do, and we're waiting for what? The body. Our angels are made in the image of God. Mm-hmm. They're called, they have the heaven-born son. They're exactly like you. There's no body change. This, this is right, Christ said. When they ask Christ, who, who will the, the woman be married to? When you, they'll all have bodies like angels. They're not male or female. They are exactly, so even more so. You understand? So what is the problem? Why is he trespassing and why is he an outlaw? What is he not, should, not um, allowed to do? He's not authorized um. to be on this planet doing the things he is yes. doing. You see, one of the reasons he can do as much as he do is because of what? He's made in the image. His problem... He has faith in himself. He has lots of faith in himself. <laughs> his, his problem is authority. He's not authorized. When you have that formation, you know, I am, my, you see, I come from my father who is self-sufficient and self-sustained in first position. You understand? I know exactly what I'm supposed to be like. Second position. I'm authorized to do it. <laughs> now, we clear in this part. Authorized to do what? Have dominion over the planet, not over people. You know what I'm saying? I'm authorized to, to dominate this situation. Not even to just, the Bible said, dominate it. At this point, the Holy Spirit can give you full support because you're in the right position. At this point, you have put the appropriate demand on your spirit man to come to its maximum and the Holy Spirit to fully support it, to deal with the situation. If you can harness this, God just might give some glory. Thank and some of us just might have some things to praise God about. Amen. So, and I start telling you this because we're talking about worship, and then I, I, but I was thinking, I was, today I was meditating on faith. 
if you understand this, you'll understand worship. When is it? I told you worship is like boasting. You know, so so I'll, say, I'll say it different. All of our songs are supposed to be, you know, sometimes I listen to a lot of worship songs, and I, I, I am pretty sure I'm going to write a book. I uh, probably won't sing it. He wouldn't give me that voice, but I'm going to write it though, on worship. But the worship will be based this way. A lot of the song will flow around. Is all, if you read, check Moses and Miriam, song about God, it's all so wrong. It's what? Self-sufficiency and self-what? Sustaining. All the things he do, all the things he is, it's all about his attribute. David as well. He, David, same thing. Read the Psalms. All of David's Psalms is boasting, like we say in the world, bigging up God. <laughs> God is so self-sufficient. God is so self-sustaining. He can make the moon and keep it in place. Nothing can harm him. You know, you can't hide no way. All, it's all the song surround. So sometimes when I listen to some of the song, it's nice, but... It doesn't accentuate what he is. Mm. It's nice, a nice song. Mm. Yeah, so let's say, seeming as a well, you know, uh, what do you call it? Like, um, he's a general with all his, you know, stripes and stars, docked out. Yet, de- thank you, decorated. And I want to honor him. Mm-hmm. The proper honor I'll talk, you know, when he win this war, me and mama was in um, Indiana. And you know, the United States, patriotism gone beyond you can imagine. Now, I not agree with what they glorify, but nevertheless, they are of a glory. And they have, I think it's called like Monument Square. Yeah, that's what it's called. That Monument Square in Indiana, where, where in the night everybody come down to see it. And you kind of hang out on this platform. They have, in 1882, we beat Spain. In <laughs> so and so, <laughs> we killed this many, so many soldiers. And it's just testimony. And it's, 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 it's monuments in, right around, in the middle of the city. You understand? Yeah. And, yeah, they're picking up everything that makes them, I'm like, I like the um, exaltation, but <laughs> I don't think for the right reason you're doing it, how many people you kill? <laughs> you know, but it, it was like that. Yes. yes. When you understand, perfect, the exact same concept. So when you understand God, if you want to exalt him or praise him, it must be around yourself sufficient and self-sustaining. You understand? When you want to wear him and glorify, that's just worship. I'm talking about words, worship. When you want to let your lifestyle accentuate it, you have to walk like that. Mm-hmm. You're made in the image. And you have to take on matters like that. You, you understand? Because that, this, when you can walk like that, take on matter like that, you glorify him because of what you come from. Mm-hmm. It's, like, it's like saying, the father is this and the children are like this. Yes, and the father is like this, and the children like this, and the kingdom is like this. Do you understand? This all glorifies him. This all exalts him. This, was, this is what the Psalms is built of. You understand? This is what Miriam and Moses were doing. You understand? So let me sing song, but it has nothing to do with himself sufficient. It's almost like they're kind of pretty, you know, like, pretty God, beautiful God, pretty, you know, like, like yeah, yeah, kind of. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. Um, you know, but now all of them, some of them nails him. Some things of his glory, some things of his love, some things of it, those are all direct attributes. It, it must ascribe to something specific. Triple star form the battle of so and so. It must be like Monument Square. You know, as I said, if seeming is a highly decorated corner, and I'm going to talk about the Hawaii suit. And imagine I acknowledge none of the stripes he gets. go, isn't he pretty, with his pretty outfit? And look at the general goes, general shake the kitty's hand, general walks, the general, nothing that makes him the general. That don't glorify him. That don't accentuate him. You, you understand? I, it's almost like i not depicting him properly. It's like typically when they want to do that, they find somebody that knows him been with him. You know what I mean? And that person can. But God is the same. You know, so, you know, I, I, I love, it's funny, don't wonder what, tonight I was just in a worship mood. But it's part of what the, the comprehension he gave me a couple of days ago of this process, so I guess it, it, it's, it's correlated. When you understand this, when you sing with him, you sing with him awesome. When you walk him, you walk with him awesome. When you take on his matter, you take on him awesome. 
You understand? And then you face it different. This is when you're like Job. Even when the situation is behaving bad and the storm don't want to back off, you're like, you know this is going to end, right? It doesn't matter what you do. I am destined to overcome you. Why don't you stop struggling with me? When the storm is refusing, I go, I refuse to give in to you. You're like, what is the point? So in a matter of time, you and I both know where I come from, and you and I both know how to write me. You're destined to go down, and I'm destined to get on top. What does this struggle is all about? It's a complete, it doesn't matter if they knock you down. You're getting up like, why are you wasting your strength? You know in the final analysis, I have to win. It, it changes your outlook. It changes how you interplay. It changes though you're knocked down seven times. You get back up and go, doesn't matter if it's the 12th round. At the end of this match, I'm on top. I love what Dave Ramsey loves to say. He goes, no matter I'm a challenge, you and the devil going, you'll never made it to this. He goes, clearly you will read the book. I read the book. I win. He said, he said I read the end of the book. We win. You don't. So, <laughs> you go, yeah, it doesn't matter what's going on in the middle here. You go, I don't care. You go, I go, in the final analysis, I win. In the final analysis, we win. You know, we get caught up with it here. Mm. I'm pretending like we don't know what the outcome of the match. You know. So please understand that. Understand that in your worship and understand that in your faith and in your works. Amen. I, I believe we're going to answer for our faith and we're going to answer for, I believe there are two things we're going to answer for. Our faith and our works. The Bible says all of us must appear, appear before Jesus in the judgment seat. Why a faith being is operating without faith? And why does he deal with the tasks he's authorized and designed to deal with? I believe there are the two things we are human beings are going to be called upon. And, and those that are rejecting and learning this. Why didn't you come to learn about what is God said? I told you. You live by faith. Why didn't you come to learn to live what it is to be living by faith? Those are those outside. Those that are inside. You know, why don't you have faith in that which you are, which is to be in my image and who I am and so forth? And why have you given me no glory? Now, I believe the enemy understands these three extremely well. He keeps these from learning about faith. He keeps these from growing in faith. The Bible says you must grow in faith. Get more familiar. You cannot grow in something you're not getting what? Familiar with. How is that possible? Anybody ever study math, English, martial arts, anything? Yeah. How do you get better? You have to practice. We grow by more familiarization. I could have used it one way, now I can use it another way. I could have done an equation this way, now I can do it this way. This is, this is growing. Variations. And so forth and so forth. Amen. Amen.